came with the movie blog uh first off Minov, actually everyone thank you as someone who grew up in the projects as someone who lived that experience someone who could smell the projects and some of the scenes in the movie thank you i i felt like the movie offers a brutally honest portrayal of life in the projects um my question is the the film it, it has a recurring motif of focusing on a shot of the window right the project window w what message were you hoping to convey with this symbolism and what was your you know your overall approach to balancing authenticity with sensitivity i'm going to give uh credit to where it's due the that shot of the curtains is inspired by the opening description of the apartment in Raisin in the Sun by Lorraine Hansberry. So there's this description of that apartment and it's very detailed of all the history in the actual furnishings of the place and what it says about the people who live there. And I really wanted these curtains, you know, to these beautiful curtains, handmade curtains, to represent to us, to the audience, uh, that they have come into this place this you know the high rises were prefabricated these like these buildings that are very cookie cutter each of these units is exactly the same um and they made a home out of it and when you look through the curtains there's the whole city you know that was one of the incredible things about the high rises is when you looked out you saw the whole city and for you know we see many times throughout the film you know malik and um, they, Eric are out looking on the, the breezeway out to the city. And to me, that also represents to them the life outside of the projects. It's, but it's not so much that they see the projects of the place that's containing them. It's that they are able to take in the joys of the place and where they live and also are able to see the potential and the opportunities out there. Um, and the curtains really kind of I kept repeating them throughout the film as a way of reminding us and the you know the audience that this is a home and in a home there are these objects these furnishings and things that have a lot of meaning to us we assign them the meaning the cookie tin the curtains um even the leaky faucet that will not go away um those are the things that we remember um you know, as Journey was saying, the ants getting to our candy. Um, those are those are what's imprinted, you know, on us in our in our memories. And so that was one of the reasons why we kept returning to the curtains. Um, and why, you know, in some cases, you know, sometimes it's it's okay to leave a piece of that behind um to be able to move forward. <laughs>